give the call to the member for Goldstein. To the Minister for Workplace Relations. Goldstein has 17,000 small businesses, and the government's industrial relations bill captures businesses with a headcount of just 15 plus. This would see thousands of small businesses across the country potentially drawn into multi employer bargaining. Overall, I have supported the bill. However, does the government accept Order. that the number should be raised to a higher number of full time equivalent staff? to acknowledge the concerns of our small businesses. Give a call to the Minister for Employment, Workplace Relations and Minister for the Arts. O order. The Deputy Leader of the Opposition will cease interjecting every time a minister starts answering a question. I give the call to the Leader of the House. Thanks very much, Mr Speaker. And I thank the member for Goldstone for the question. Uh, acknowledge the member uh, for different parts of this bill, particularly on the gender equity parts of the bill. Uh, had been an advocate for those, those sections of the bill long before she became uh, a member in this place. And since becoming a member, uh, this, is, this is the first time um, in question time that the members raised it. With me. It's been raised both on the floor of the House and privately, uh, and I think in writing uh, to me as well. So uh, I respect the, the fierce advocacy of this issue of the small, how the small business carve-out is done. Uh, I'll say a few things in response. Uh, first of all, and it goes to some of the issues that have been raised by the opposition today as well, the expectation with respect to small business is overwhelmingly it will be the cooperative stream that's used. Uh, and with the cooperative stream, it's very much an opt-in. There's no industrial action. Uh, effectively, uh, model, if you like, uh, enterprise agreements are made available that small businesses and their staff can voluntarily opt into. Uh, that involves no fees, no consultants, and we expect overwhelmingly that would be the way that small business would engage with these reforms. With respect to the single interest stream, the small business carve-out that is there at the moment uh, is simply the definition that is already elsewhere in the Act for small business, a definition which those opposite did not seek to change in their entire time uh, in office. I respect the argument that the member for Goldstone and other members of the crossbench have made uh, where they've said that particularly for Māori uh, employer bargaining, they would like to see this go as a broader uh, exclusion, and that's been raised not only by the member for Goldstein but by a number of members of the crossbench. This is one of the issues where consultation and negotiation is happening with the Senate crossbench. Uh, as I said, when we're in the in detail stage, as I said, we're in the in detail stage. Uh, the leader of the opposition will cease interjecting. As I said, when we were member dealing Warnham. with the in detail stage, so this. Might be new for those who haven't been paying attention, but not new uh, for those who have. Uh, there has always been an expectation that when the bill hit the Senate, that definition would probably be the something Deacon, that was part of those negotiations. In any broadening of the definition, what I want to be mindful of, and I've said this before, is while occupations such as, such as early, early childhood educators, uh, who we definitely want to make sure do get the benefit of multi-employer bargaining, uh, that they may start in the supported stream, but effectively, if you look at businesses like, for example, the Victorian child care centres or early childhood education centres that have already uh, engaged in this, they're now roughly 16 per cent above the award, and they would need a pathway to be able to continue to uh, negotiate. They'd only be able to do that single enterprise stream, and I want to make sure that any expanded definition doesn't carve them out.